right below his elbow on his right upper extremity. It's late afternoon when the young German soldiers brought in. Hello, can you hear me? Dr. Nathan Beckerman and his team of doctors, nurses, and medics. Okay, is the tourniquet controlling the bleeding? Work to quickly evaluate his condition. And cardiac. Some of his wounds. Is okay, all right. Are obvious. Oh, that's a nasty amputation. Others have to be found. Any evidence of chest trauma? And if you didn't know any better. He's got something there. You'd probably think all of this was real. He's got a nasty mangled right upper arm. Yeah. You know, if we raise his pressure enough and he starts bleeding again, I'd like him to be in the ICU. Let's see how critical it is. Especially since the medical team treats it that way. Make sure you put a blanket over them too. Keep them warm, please. But it's all an exercise. X-ray. Training these soldiers and their German counterparts to run a field hospital. Um, that patient's going to go to the OR, then once OR is ready, they'll take him. The kind okay. you'd find in a war zone. We need to roll him this way since his primary injury is on his right arm. This is real life stuff. When they come in, they come in wounded. They, I mean, you know, you, you put in all your medical expertise into it and you go. Let's go. Zero point five. I was definitely not expecting going in. the quality of the moulage and the, you know, the, the patient makeup. Or it's not spewing arterial blood. Or... This training is really helping our young medics. We have a, a lot of medics that came just right out of AIT. What is his blood pressure at this point? One of those young medics is PFC Chelsea Polkey, who wanted to be in the medical field since she was a kid. Right. And he's going to be getting two grams of Ansef, Ben Wickler. And my friends okay. are going to college. And we're like, we're learning IVs. I'm like, yeah, I've done that in the dirt and mud already <laughs> for about a year now. So This is a right arm amputation. The German soldiers moved into an intensive care unit. Right arm amputation. Where the exercise continues just short of surgery which the doctors can perform in this ICU. I wonder if we can get the pneumatic below it. But they know right. how to do that. Save as much bone as you can, stabilize yes. the bone. Right. This exercise is about learning to work as a team uh, yeah. in a war zone. I'll hold pressure on the brachial artery, how about okay. that? This is about as real as they can make it without actually having injured people. In Grafenbeer, Germany. Our work is done. That's right. Tony McKinney, well done. AFN News.